Welcome everyone to Fallout 76. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how you guys can get unlimited black titanium scraps right there. What you need to like make some of the power armor suits and stuff like that. You can farm this stuff. I got 22 just by doing this method twice. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can kill basically unlimited amounts of death claws as much as you possibly want to. So what you want to do first is go to your map and come right here to Death Claw Island. It is just north, guys, of Point Pleasant, which is home of the Mothman. And I really advise you put your camp right where mine is. So if you can see, here's where mine is right here. I have it set up right, right at the edge right there, which you guys will see why in a second here. But really quickly, the other thing to point is that there is a wood harvester thing back here. So if you set your camp, camp back just a few feet, you can also connect to this as well and harvest the wood pile while you're doing this. Now the next thing you want to do is have these turrets set up like, just like how I have mine. You can see there's a death claw right there already as we're talking. But basically guys, how this works is death claw spawn this island, hence the name death claw island. And what we will do is I'll run over there and we'll pull it to the edge of the river and the turrets will kill it for you. And by doing so, it will drop black titanium scraps. Now, this other stuff is just random workbenches. You don't need this up technically. The one thing I do want to show though, to those of you that are new to the game, if you go to smelting here, I can't make black titanium scraps, but I can make lead scraps. As you can see, it requires acid and lead ore. So this is the stuff that you will need in order to craft things with. This is the stuff everyone's wanting to know how to get. Well, here you go. So here's what we're going to do. Now, this, this water is full of radiation which is the only downside. I don't know if a hazmat suit would work. I don't have one. Someone that does have one, if you do give us a try, let me know down below in the comment section if it does not give you radiation while wearing it because that would really make this method a, t a ton better because right now I basically have to uh, use right away and stuff like that. And I had this little makeshift layer to get across so I don't take as much radiation damage. Now, normally these death claws actually spawn out of the ground. Um, I'm just going to see if I can pull them really quickly just by shooting them. Let's see if he comes over. There he comes. So I'm just going to stay on my ladder. Uh, come on. There we go. The turrets will start shooting him. And he will not cross the river. I don't know why he will not cross the river. I think it's just how his, his game is, his pathing is. But he will not come to a certain extent. It might be too deep for him. I'm going to back off a little bit. I really don't want him to die in the water. I just have to go in the water to get it. But there we go. You, get, you, get, you also get 136 XP every time you do do this. We come down here. Got death claw stuff, and there is the black titanium scraps. We grab that and quickly get back out of the water. And this is why the, if the hazmat suit works, or if there's anything else that would take away radiation, let me know down below in the comment section because it'll make this method so much better. That's basically all you have to do. You really don't have to shoot one or two bullets every time you do this, and you get scraps by doing so. So really quickly, we're gonna go back, go back over there to the the island here, and I'll show you exactly where they. The at least one comes out. The first time I did this, I actually had two come out at me. Um, after I killed the first one, no one came out, but the first one was disease, which could have been why. But they come they come out of this hole right here. Every single time, one will come out of their tent. Oh, is, it, is that an egg? There's a death claw egg. I'll take that too. The second one I had when I wasn't recording, he came out over here somewhere. Let me see. I don't know if he'll come out this time. He might not. If he doesn't, it's not a big deal. I believe they, they respawn every 10-ish minutes earlier when I was kind of playing with this. I had one spawn again on me. And it, I believe it's around 10 minutes. So nothing's coming out. So we're, we're going to go back, back over, guys. And what, all I'm going to do is actually just world hop. And another one will be there. And I'll show you the exact way of actually doing this. I'm not sure why that one was already out of the ground. So I must have been over here already and couldn't kill it. Or didn't have the idea that I had, like, the turrets there. But they will spawn there every single time. Every single time. The first time I did it, I had two that came out. So you might get more than one. You might get lucky. I'm not sure if it's just randomized, if it's disease, it doesn't count as an actual spawn for the location. Not sure exactly how all that works. But let's cross back over here. Bunny hop a little bit to help on the radiation. All right. And we're back over. Now, guys, the other two YouTubers that were helping me with this method and actually found this out and had this idea were Titan Shield and Azex. Check Make sure to check them out down below in the description. These guys have been very, very helpful with me in a lot of my videos recently. All right, so there's our black titanium scraps. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna quit the main menu and just transfer servers. So quit, back to main menu. Now I know some people think that this is cheating. I mean, you have your own opinion. I don't think server hopping is cheating. If they didn't want people picking up things from server to server, they wouldn't have it like stationary spawns, like the Mothman eggs, for instance. I made a video on Mothman eggs. 
which has been doing very well. It's been helping a lot. It's been helping a lot of people. Some people think it's cheating though or exploiting. I don't think it's either one. That's just my opinion though. You guys all have your opinions. If you don't want to do this, you're not forced to. That's how I see it. The other thing I found interesting is on uh, my caps video where uh, my math was wrong. I did 1.3 for a minute and a half said so 1.5, which I know my, my mistake. People, thank you for calling me out on it though. A lot of people were saying that their loading times were not even like under a minute. As you guys can see, like that loading, that loading screen out there like wasn't even a minute. So I, I don't know what that is. Maybe console's load times are just longer. I have mine on SSD, which could be two. But anyway, here we are. So I'm gonna reload my weapon really quickly. Let me put this over. Oh, he's already out again. Why is he already out? He shouldn't be out. I'm not sure why he's already out. I mean, it makes it easier because I don't have to cross the river. But I want to show you guys because basically all you do is you just walk up to that little hole right there. And he'll come out of the ground, and you just let him come out, and you let him get really close to you. And... What are the turrets shooting? They're shooting in a different direction. That was weird. But basically, when he when he gets out of the hole, you just uh, let him chase you right to the edge of the river. So, you know, I actually might have to cross right here. Because he ran away. There he comes. There he comes. All right, come on, jump, 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 jump. I don't want to take radiation. I really hope the hazmat suit works. That'd be nice. But I do know a lot of people right now are trying to figure out how to get black titanium. Well, this is the way to do it. You can get a really good amount by doing this. It only takes a few minutes to do. I'm sure there's other methods too. I, I know there's like a, a treasure map you can buy for 300 caps or something like that. Man, where's this guy keep running off to? And uh, you can get black, black titanium that way. All right, come on. Where'd he go? Wait, he's gonna one-shot me now. I'm a little worried. There he is. Oh, okay. He, he was the one-shot. I got very lucky there. These things like 102 shot you if you're not wearing good armor. I still hear music though, which has me a little worried. Okay, death claw, tampered raider armor. I'm not gonna take that. Got the hand. You got four more titanium scraps, some loose gears, which is always nice. We got some new armor. Cool. So I'm gonna walk up to the hole. See if you want to spawn. I really wish they weren't already spawning now because I want to show you guys how to do it. Because basically, when you walk up to this hole, you'll see like you'll see like his arm or head come out of the ground, and then you start running. You don't you don't run away until he's actually fully out. Like I don't see him like right here until he's fully out, and I slowly make my way across the river. So I'm gonna try it one more time. I, I really really just want to see if I can get him to not be out of the hole already. All right, here we go. Not even nighttime. Perfect. Let's reload our weapon a little bit here. All right now. Is he out of the ground? I don't see anything out of the ground yet. All right, this is good. Hop back over. All right, so again, when you get over here, let your AP get up because you're going to need it. If these things touch you, at least in my case right now, I am still very low, very low leveled. I have not been leveling all, but it's been making guide videos and like I'm exploring. These things will one to two shot you. And there he comes out of the ground. It's like so. So let's go over here. All right. Now, don't run away. There he goes. Okay. I'm gonna come down the river here. I'm just gonna cross the river. Turrets will start shooting them. And there you go. That's all you gotta do. The whole running away thing, it's just really random. I'm, I'm sure Storm will get, to get this down to a perfection or science. I really just wanted to show you guys how you can actually just like efficiently just farm black titanium because it's really easy to do. And it really cost you nothing. Where are they shooting? He's back here. Isn't he? Oh, there he is. Where is he at? There he is. Ah, crap, 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 crap. He might hit me. He might hit me. Oh, no. We might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. <laughs> oh, that was close. I ran out of AP. I ran out of AP. And he's dead. There we go. We got dead. De we got another dead death claw. The more turrets you have down, obviously, the more that they'll shoot. Obviously, so it'll be a lot, a lot uh, cleaner kills, faster kills, anyway. Uh, where's his body? I don't want to drink the water. The for some reason, their body disappears in the river. Sometimes their bodies just disappear. And they turn like little uh, bags in the ground, like when you drop stuff. But uh, besides that, this works pretty well. So, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If, if you guys have any better method on how to uh, maybe farm black titanium or not take radiation damage. Let me know down below in the comment section as well. I'd really, really like to know what you guys' thoughts are on this. But if we go here to transfer, we're going to transfer all our junk. And then we have, now we have 30 black titanium scraps. And I've, again, I've only done this twice. You might get more than one to spawn. 
I know there's other methods to get black titanium. I'm not saying this is the best method. I definitely think this is the fastest method. Some people won't agree with doing it this way, but I don't think it's a big deal. This game's not heavily PvP. Like, if you don't want to PvP someone, or someone doesn't want to fight you, it's not going to happen anyway, because you just can't kill them. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see all you guys in the next video.